All right, guys, it's MikeStickers.com here with y'all again. Uh, I'm going to take y'all around my little shop here, my messy sticker shop, and show y'all what I got going on. So this little eco solvent printer that I have right here, it takes forever to print. This is like the basic uh, base model Epson eco tank printer that I converted to an eco solvent ink printer. And uh, it takes like five minutes to print a full eight and a half by 11 sheet of stickers. And so I'm trying to find something that works quicker. I can't afford like a HP Latex right now or a big Roland. But I do have this Epson Colorworks C6500 AU. And this thing is pretty dang fast. It's not as fast as some printers, but it is it is pretty fast. It prints a full sheet probably in about 12 seconds. So I'm going to show you all the difference here between printing on this Epson versus this Epson. <clears throat> the difference is this one only seems to, uh, you know, I think that I can only find polypropylene for it, uh, bot material. With this one, I'm printing on vinyl, which I can't find in a roll for this machine yet. So might be out there, I'm not sure. But right now, this is what I'm using. So I'm going to print some sheets of this, and I'm going to show you all a comparison. So I already have some queued up in the Epson Colorworks printer, the label printer. And in that printer, I'm running eight and a half inch material on a continuous roll. So I'm gonna do five sheets on the Epson Colorworks. I'm only gonna do one sheet on the uh, EcoTank. I'm pretty sure I'm easily gonna be able to print five on the on the Epson Colorworks printer and the time that I can print one on the other one. I, I'm just trying to make sure it really does switch over to the other printer here so I'm gonna close out and get back in and make sure. Alright so I'm gonna go ahead and start that one alright I'm waiting for both of them to start up that one's starting first. Anita. Here's Ocean, the shop cat. She's trying to eat my table. Yep. All right, the Epson one started, and I'm gonna go ahead and press on pause on this one so this one can get started. And this is all gonna work out good as long as I don't run out of ink because the ink's shown low on almost all these for a while. And I'm just letting it go until it tells me to stop. I hope I don't damage it like that. Uh, the ink is like $200 for all the ink, so I don't want to replace it until it tells me I have to. So far, everything's been printing fine. I'm going to set this up like this to uh, help support them as they're coming out. <clears throat> Any time now, it's probably going to tell me that I is no longer going to print until I replace one of those cartridges, but we'll just see what happens. This one's still trying to print the first one. This one's already printed two. I'm going to put these on my drying rack as we go here. All right. This is the fourth one from the label printer. I'm still not even quite coming out yet now it's on the fifth one on here all right so it printed five on the Epson Colorworks printer. And the one on the EcoTank isn't even done yet. It's probably not even halfway done yet. So it's a big difference. It's a real big difference. So this thing works pretty good because the ink lasts for a real long time this eco tank 
but the thing takes forever. So this one just got finished up, took forever. I could have easily printed 10 sheets on the uh, Epson one in the same, or on the uh, color works in the same time as it took to print on the EcoTank. So here's vinyl off the EcoTank. Here's the polypropylene bop off the color works. And Trying to give you give you an idea of the color and the quality. Now, I personally like the color and quality better on the the Epson Color Works. Let me take a good close look here. I hope I'm sitting down the camera. Yeah, I think the color works, works is definitely a better quality. I think the colors came out better. The colors might be a little darker than what they're actually supposed to be based on the computer image. I think this one's more accurate to the color on the computer screen. I've been having a little bit of color issues with some of the greens and blues with the uh, Epson color works. But I like the way they look. It's just not always accurate to what's on the screen. But overall, I think that on the BOP, it's really good. And the BOP saves so much time. It's actually not cheaper in the quantity that I purchased it in this last time. You have to buy a lot of them. And the roll that I'm buying them in with, with this width, um, it's it's almost $200. It's about $200 shipped to me. So it's not cheap. It comes out to, I think, about like a dollar, dollar thirty-eight a sheet when I'm... Uh, adding laminate and ink costs and all that it might come in a little bit less i'm not sure it's hard to calculate the ink cost on this so but that's the idea i'm trying to print it on the epson colorworks c6500 au so that i can save a bunch of time a bunch of time this would have taken all day long to print you know say i have to print like you know 20 sheets of them or something like that this will pump it out in no time at all with the uh, with the label printer so it's a big difference between the two and I've been testing them so far the polypropylene seems like it's it works out just fine it seems like it's you know it seems like it's a fine material the problem that I was having with it at first is it seems like it wasn't as waterproof uh, but apparently it takes like 24 hours for the adhesive to cure properly so that it can be waterproof and, and truly durable. Uh, whereas the vinyl, when you when you put it on there, you could put it under water immediately for a week and it's not gonna come off. Like, but with the polypropylene, with the BOP, you have to let it cure for at least 24 hours before you expose it to water. Otherwise, it's just gonna come right off. And if you leave it under water for say like 24 hours, completely under water, it might start to lift off the edges. Uh, once it dries out, that adhesive will reactivate and you can push it back on and it'll adhere back on but the vinyl i think is more waterproof but you have to think about it the sticker isn't gonna typically be underwater completely submerged for a full day or longer than that it might be washed in the sink or something like that it might get rained on and wet for a day or two but it's not going to be completely submerged when it's on the back of a window or on a vehicle or something like that so I think the BOP is fine for what I'm using it for right now. Um, once I can get a HP Latex, then I will be printing on vinyl all the time. But for right now, since I have the Epson Colorworks C6500, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to print my stickers on that machine 
because now that I'm printing it on this width, I can go ahead and put it in my silhouette and, and cut it because it's the proper width. So that's the idea. I don't have a graph tech or anything like that yet, so I can't print anything, I can't cut anything that's super wide anyways. And so this gives me a high speed printing option that I can still use the silhouette for. So it really speeds up my process. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.